Hi there everybody, welcome to VD Gaming, I'm Lemonhead and today we're continuing with our Blackburn Rovers FIFA 15 career mode series and this is our first game in the championship this season against Ipswich Town. Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith welcoming you to this big game today. Hoping to get off to a good start because I had a good cup game earlier, winning 4 0. So I was hoping my team would be full of confidence going into the first game. So I decided to go for a pretty good side, but Castello was injured, so I had to go for Graham Burke, which is a bit iffy, but hopefully he did as well. And it switched, put out pretty decent side, so and they're hoping to be at the top of the table, I imagine. So it's a bit worrying, but we'll give them a good go. With the players that they've got, and coming up against a team here that uh, I think will be up the top, and nothing less than promotion this season is expected and demanded from the manager and the fans. The referee for this match is Grant Lindham. So it's which kick off. And pretty much from the get-go in that game, they get right onto my wing here and squeeze across it into Murphy who gets a header and one minute and 49 seconds into that game, we concede our first goal. Not the best start I was hoping for. I think that was a bit jammy of them, but my defence was terrible there. Don't know what I was doing. And I, I probably just wasn't concentrating at the start of the game, to be honest, but look at that, no chance. We get another chance here to equalise with Rhodes getting a shot hit off the goalkeeper. Good save by them. But it's a great play here. Boozing Garen, uh, Graham Burke gets his first goal for the club. So I was a bit worried about putting him in at the start of the game, just because... He's not that great he rated in FIFA, but there you go, look at that play. Beautiful. Great goal, so fair enough. They had another chance, but a great save by Robinson here. And that was pretty much it for the first half. Uh, half time whistle went, and we both went in with a draw at the moment at 1 1. So, pretty. Decent start to the game, both had chances, pretty even I'd say, um, but we had to come out the second half better, or Ipswich Town were going to take control. And they started off doing that, um, with another great boy to McGoldrick here, and Hyam just got a tap in because of a stupid, stupid deflection, messing up my defence and goalkeeper ruining it for me and look at that so how easy was that it's ridiculous we got a chance to equalize here with Kenny being put through and then just another fluff chance by Burke there and they kept having control keeping the ball and they got another chance here but final whistle went and it was 2-1 to Ipswich, which was a bit disappointing. Felt like we should have got better back into the game. We didn't have many chances in the second half. second half was a bit boring, all Ipswich keeping the ball. And it's a shame that we went into the first game and we got lost. So, But, you know, we can only hope for better in the next game. The next game happened to be uh, away against Millwall. 
Um, I felt Mill were a bit of a dirty team in real life, so I imagine they are in FIFA. I never really played them properly in FIFA, so we'll see about that. Um, but I think they're going to be a hard team to play against. Uh, so they're going to put men behind the ball, play very defensively, I feel, and pass the ball away and well, keep it a lot. And going to get a lot of men behind the ball, make it hard for me, so let's see what happens. And if you look at their team, a few of them are already... They're beefy. <laughs> so, they're very tough to play. It's a lot of Stoke of the Championship, but worse. Oh, it's really Stoke supporters. <laughs> it works for you. But yeah, I went for a uh, decent side again. Same, pretty much the same side. But changed some of the wingers, so hopefully you got a bit more speed and skill on those sides now. Don't know what those guys are doing. It's really, really like Strat Grealish, doesn't he? <laughs> Look at him, he's like really, really comfortable next to him. And Jack Grealish does not look happy. Funny glitches in FIFA, I tell you. And look, there's a glitch carrying on. Because no one knows what's going on. <laughs> but we managed to kick off. Somehow he teleported there. And the game started. Off pretty well for Millwall, unfortunately. Not for us. <laughs> uh, getting an early cross in here. Ball came off our defender's head, really badly defended, but good job Robertson saved that there. And then somehow that's not a penalty to them. Took out their player. But uh, we got away with it, luckily. And the ball came through to Rhodes, who had a good chance here, but somehow fluffed that, and it's really, I was really, really disappointed with him there. Millwall got a good chance here, but really, really well defended by my team. Uh, but they got another, they were pretty much filling my box with players, which was really annoying me. And they got a good chance there, but they missed. I mean... If they had better skilled players, they could be 2 up, 2 nil up now. And then they had a really dirty tackle. <laughs> and it really bothered me there. And then we had a bit of a fight going on here. I'm not happy with, I think it's Carlos Edwards. But I don't blame him, it was really, really dirty that was. And then they got another shot. Just missed. You know, they were doing well here, to be fair, better than I expected. And then half time what came and it was nil nil. Pretty boring game in the sense that it was mostly in the middle of the park, just passing it around and interceptions and no one was really that great in the final third. Mill were a bit better than me. I honestly didn't really create much in the first half. I was really disappointed with that. But I was aiming to come out in the second half much better. So the second half kicked off. And they got a good chance going through on the wing here. Getting it into Taylor Fetcher, who and my goalkeeper was just coming out. I, I wasn't even pressing the triangle, so <laughs> I was lucky that someone was on the uh, goal there, but still missed. Uh, really, really bad throw in, throw out by uh, the goalkeeper. Gifted them a chance, they still missed. And at this point, I was thinking, I need to take chances, or was they going to score? But this beauty from Rhodes just. Great top corner, great goal by Rhodes there. And uh, I was happy man at this point because I really wasn't in the game before this. And uh, Millwall were getting chance after chance and they were going to score one eventually. But I got there first, which gave me some hope. We had another shot there, just saved by the fingertips of the goalkeeper. And passing it in around the box here 
And it came to a Powell who just skied it over. Not really impressed of him so far. And that was the end of the game. And <laughs> at 90 minutes, 1-0. I was really lucky to win that game, but happy all the same. And um, there's our first three points of the season. And our third game in the championship was against Leeds United at home. Now I know Leeds are a decent side in the championship. You can always offer me a surprise. And there are, used to be a big team, so there's a good chance that, you know, they could get promoted at any time, really. Um, but I was com going to this game with confidence from the fact that the Millwall win might spur my players on to do well. Um, well, at least that's what I was hoping for. But we'll see. Shape up. Put out a pretty decent side. Uh, Change Greenish because it didn't do very well. But other than that, I pretty much kept the same side. This is how the visitors shape up. How about yeah, you've got Bambo, who's a decent no, player for Leeds. Massive beast for player. And White and then you've got uh, Sharp who's also a good striker so they've got some dangers in their squad definitely. So Leeds kicked off the game. Leeds United starting the game, they kicked off. It started off pretty well, eight minutes into the game. We got into their box and their player brought us down. Great for us, great start. Penalty. Really happy about this. It, it was a blatant penalty, it was put on the shirt and everything. No question about that being a penalty the there. I mean, look at that. Pull down. Straight on goal. Would have scored otherwise. So Rhodes stepped up to take the penalty. And slotted it in the middle. Did a little fake run up to confuse the goalkeeper. Great penalty by Rhodes. Great goal. Second goal for Rhodes there for the season. But on the 17th minute they got a cross into the box. And a header goes in. And I was really disappointed at this because we, we were controlling the game up to them really. And they just come up and score that atrocity of a header. Really unlucky there, but to be fair, there's two players around him. Should have got him. They had another chance here. Well saved by Robinson, although it's a bit iffy when he pushed it out to nearly one of their, well, nearly pushed it out to one of their players. Uh, they also got another chance here, and they scored. Really good play by them. My defence was asleep because how that ball got to him and how he wasn't marked, I have no idea. Really, really annoyed at this point because I was controlling the game for the first 20 minutes. First time finish, hit with real power. Really, really disappointed. And that was the first half. I went into the first half, really, really unhappy. Not happy with the team at all. Really, really flat. And every time I went to pass the ball, they were really slow to get there and just wasn't just him to, to be working for me. I have no idea why, considering we were one the left at the start. But Leeds come out playing well again. Good save by Robinson. Don't know why he couldn't hold that to be fair though. 
and they got a chance there. Lucky it's not 3 1 now. We get a chance at the 90th minute, and that was the only chance we had. Hit the post. But I honestly don't think we deserve to win that game by that standard we were playing. We were terrible, especially in the second half. So, yeah, the first three games. We've only got three points, and I'm really disappointed, thinking we should be doing better than this. But after the game, it was transfer deadline day, and I decided that I needed a right back, so I tried to sign Liam Palmer from Sheffield Wednesday for 1.3 million. And I also decided I needed a defensive midfielder, so uh, UNO Kane from Bournemouth decided to try and sign him for 1.5 million. And I was happy to find that they accepted the offers of the clubs, and so it was just down to the contract offerings, so I decided to offer what they wanted, because I really needed the players. Um, and yeah, I believe they signed. So, happy days for us. And yeah, it was a bit uh, awkward when I went to get signed Liam Palmer, uh, and uh, I couldn't. But I managed to do it in the end because I, I switched around and sold a few players. <laughs>